source hacking is a disinformation technique where the individuals spreading disinformation attempt to hide the source of said information. This technique can give opinions or outright falsehoods more credibility than they deserve and is often used to trick journalists to cover something they wouldn't have covered otherwise. With this case study, I will attempt to identify different kinds of source hacking, as well as identify what journalists can do to avoid falling for these campaigns and spreading disinformation. The Data and Society Report on Source Hacking by Joan Donovan and Brian Friedberg identifies four varieties. Viral sloganeering, leak forgery, evidence collages, and keyword squatting, as well as examples of each, such as It's Okay to be White, an intentionally inoffensive slogan picked and spread by white supremacists, or this Blacktivist Facebook page run by the Russian Internet Research Agency. The main flaw with this report is that it was released in 2019, and after the year of disinformation we had in 2020, I sought out to identify more recent examples of source hacking. By searching through the Media Manipulation Casebook, I found four such examples from 2020. Corona Jihad, the Blacksit campaign, Joe Biden's alleged voter fraud campaign, and Scorecard and Hammer. There were a number of similarities between the four campaigns. As a journalism major, what I want to focus on is the amplification of these messages by journalists to look at how we can prevent falling for these campaigns. Donovan and Friedberg came up with a number of recommendations for journalists to not fall prey to source hacking that basically all boiled down to fact checking. My main takeaway is that journalists should check context in addition to credibility before sharing. All of these campaigns got journalists to spread this information by changing the context. I would argue that recontextualized media as a whole is a fifth type of source hacking because it uses the credibility of the original source to spread untrue information. And uh, here are my sources, the Data and Society Report, as well as the four examples of media manipulation from 2020 I used, and the three examples of journalists falling for those campaigns.